first set I want to talk about is the Polydron Pyramid Set. As you can see, it's not very large, but with it, you can actually build seven small individual pyramids at the same time. So let's see what they look like. Here are the different polydron pieces that are included in the pyramid set. Small equilateral triangle, large equilateral triangle or root two triangle, isosceles triangle, right triangle, square, rectangle, pentagon, and hexagon. The first pyramid I want to build is a triangular based pyramid. You're going to need four small equilateral triangles. The black piece serves as the base of the pyramid. And when you place these on the table to snap them together, make sure you see some lettering in a circular pattern on each piece. If you don't, for example, this one doesn't, it's nice and smooth, you won't be able to connect them to the clip hinge. So just turn it around and then just snap the pieces together. And double check to make sure they're together. It's a little off here, so I'm going to just snap it together. And that happens. It's not a big deal. There's our net for the pyramid. And then just go ahead and continue snapping pieces together. Now always double check to make sure everything is perfectly snapped together. Sometimes when you snap one piece, another part of it comes out a little bit. So just feel through here, or just inspect it, make sure everything is secure, and we now have ourselves a pyramid. Now to take the pieces apart, some people can just use their hands. I can't, I'm a wimp, I admit it. So I like to use a large flathead screwdriver. And if you look carefully, around the edges, there's actually a slightly larger, wider open area, and then you can just gently twist the screwdriver and it opens up the figure. You can also use the top part of nail clippers. That'll work. You can also use a small metal ruler. That'll work. Don't use plastic. And you can open it up for the net or just separate the pieces completely and put, put it away. To save time in this video, I'm now going to just show you the final net and then the pyramid. Here we have the net for a square based pyramid. And I'm going to use small equilateral triangles for the sides. Again, make sure you see the words on each piece. When you pull it together, you get something that looks like this. Here's another square based pyramid, but now I'm going to use isosceles triangles for the four sides. When you put it all together, you get something that looks like this. Here's a figure of a rocket ship. Whee! Oh, oh, sorry. No, actually it's the net for another square base pyramid. I'm going to use an isosceles triangle, two right triangles, and one small equilateral triangle for the sides. When you put it together, you get a square base pyramid, but it's an oblique pyramid. If you notice carefully, the apex right here is not in the center, not right, not directly over the center of the square. That's what it looks like. So it's a rather good example for students who've never seen oblique pyramids before. Now this is the net of a rectangular base pyramid. A rectangle for the base, two large equilateral triangles for two of the sides, and two isosceles triangles for the other two sides. When you put it together, you get yourself a pyramid that looks like this. Here's the net for a pentagonal base pyramid. I'm using isosceles triangles for the sides. And when you fold it up, you get something that looks like this. When you put these pieces together, you can create a hexagonal base pyramid. You have a hexagon for the base and six isosceles triangles for the sides. Snap the piece together 
and you get a very nice pyramid that looks like this. These are the seven pyramids that you can create with the Polydrawn Pyramid Set. However, these aren't the only pyramids you can create. So now I want to take a moment to show you a few others. For the rest of these figures, I won't be giving you the net. I think half the fun is putting these things together. This first one is made by using two right triangles and two small equilateral triangles. It's actually two different types of pyramids. One is with an equilateral triangle as the base, something like this, and the other is with the right triangle as the base. They're both oblique pyramids. Here I have a triangular base pyramid, but now I'm using isosceles triangles for the sides, so it's a taller pyramid. This solid consists entirely of isosceles triangles, four of them. So it's a tetrahedron, an irregular tetrahedron, but it's also an isosceles based pyramid. This little pyramid was quite a bit of a challenge for me to put together. It's actually a rhombus based pyramid. You have two small equilateral triangles for the bottom, another two small equilateral triangles for two of the sides, and then two right triangles for the other two sides. Here's an interesting solid. I'm using three different types of triangles. One isosceles triangle, two right triangles, and one small equilateral triangle. So depending on your perspective and how it's placed on the table, you can use different triangular bases for the pyramid. Either the isosceles triangle, equilateral, or right triangle. The same thing would apply to this figure over here. I'm using a large equilateral triangle for one side, one right triangle, and two isosceles triangles. So depending how it's placed on the table, you can have three different pyramids. That's one, two, three. You can make this pyramid using two large equilateral triangles and two isosceles triangles. And again, you can have two different pyramids depending on how it's placed. These three small equilateral triangles can be formed into an isosceles trapezoid, which is the base of this pyramid. The sides consist of three isosceles triangles and two right triangles. It also looks like half the hexagonal based pyramid. Here's another example of an isosceles trapezoid based pyramid. I'm going to use three isosceles triangles for the base, then for the sides, two right triangles, two large equilateral triangles, and an additional isosceles triangle. Now the interesting thing about this is that I found this entirely by accident. I was just fiddling around with the pieces and lo and behold this thing just snapped into place. Hmm. Here I have another pentagonal based pyramid but now I'm using the small equilateral triangles. Now this actually was one of the most difficult figures for me to put together. My recommendation is try to put the triangles together first, place them on top of the pentagon, and then very carefully try to snap the hinges together. And you may or may not be successful. It's, it was quite a challenge. So 
I don't want to warn you about that. <laughs> but here's another example of a diagonal pyramid. Here's an example of an object that you can create that's not a pyramid using the pyramid set. This is an oblique square prism. It has square bases and the sides consist of isosceles triangles. When you place it on a table, it's slanted, it's crooked. For the final object in this video, I want to show you an example of an antiprism. This is a square-based antiprism with eight small equilateral triangles on the sides here. 